on 10. <laughs> <laughs> and it is weather time now. Tim, where are you joining us from this morning? Well, not, what are content, you wearing? Guys, I've got stacks for you this morning. Here in Cooktown, yes. Hey, Wally Lewis gave this to me on yeah. Friday. I haven't taken it off all weekend. Exactly. I'm sleeping in this thing here, here. day and night. It's uh, actually very comfortable. Um, it may have to come off at some point, though, because it does need a bit of a wash. Nah. Hey, talking about the weather today, we have a complex low in the Tasman that is still dragging a lot of cold air and some very gusty winds as well as some showers still across parts of Australia's southeast today. It's doing something really interesting with the temperatures as well. We're seeing uh, to the day daytime maximum temperatures are likely to fall around four to five degrees below the average for August. And then on the other side of things, we're seeing parts of northern Australia recording some of their hottest August temperatures. Yesterday in West Roebuck, 41.7 degrees. That is the highest temperature ever recorded in August here in Australia. So very different stories from very different parts of the country. Let's dive in and see the temperatures for today, though. And we'll start here in Queen. Land. Another sunny day right here in the tropics. We can expect a mostly sunny top of 28 degrees. Fine and sunny as we continue further south. A little bit of morning frost around Charleville. That will clear off for a sunny top of 20 degrees. To New South Wales we go and it's looking fine and sunny around Grafton today but it will be partly cloudy for the likes of Tamworth, Dubbo, Broken Hill and Orange. Fine though by the coast Newcastle and Gosford looking good. Canberra partly cloudy for you. 11 degrees today. Good morning to you Victoria. Some partly cloudy conditions on the way for Mildura, a possible shower for Bendigo, a shower or two for Sale and Warrnambool, also for Ballarat in Tasmania. A partly cloudy Monday ahead for Launceston, becoming cloudy for Swansea, strawn a few showers around and 11 degrees. To South Australia we head now and Mount Gambia, a shower or two for you, cloudy for Port Lincoln, also partly cloudy for Sejuna and Coober To Western Australia, fine and sunny for Kalgoorlie and Carnarvon, mostly sunny for Caratha, a little bit of morning fog around in Broome, then heading for a sunny high of 31 degrees. And to the Northern Territory, Darwin today, fine and sunny, a top of 34. And the Alice, fine and sunny and 30 degrees. Well, as you know, on Friday I was in Brisbane, but I jumped aboard a big bird and flew a couple of hours north to Cairns. From Cairns, I then got in the car and drove three and a half hours north to Cooktown. That is where you find us this morning. This is a beautiful town. I was here about 10 years ago, and let me tell you, not a lot has changed. And that's really nice. It is the closest town, did you know, to the Great Barrier Reef. It just takes 30 minutes to get yourself out there. Uh, also, some beautiful sections of this area. A, a lovely botanic garden that's got a fan palm, which is indigenous to this local area. Cooktown, of course, is where James Cook spent seven weeks repairing his damaged Endeavour ship. It, of course, ran aground on the Great Barrier Reef. It was, he was tracking north around the Queensland coast. So they limped into what is today known as the Endeavour River and uh, did some repairs for seven weeks here. Lots of history that we'll cover off throughout the morning, but I think it is only appropriate as I stand here in the tropics of Queensland this morning in my Queensland Maroons jersey, I dive into a mango, guys. I'll see you in half an hour. Gee, the mangoes are small this time Doesn't of get much more Queensland than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the winter months. <laughs> Doesn't look too cold, though, does he? See, it looks delicious. Uh, Whatever, Tim. Tim, mm. goodness me.